In this video, I'm going to show you a new sports code feature that allows me to take notes from an instance notes column into a label column. Now I'm going to show you two implementation possibilities with this. The first being is this new feature allows me to have multiple coaches contribute to the same sorter. So now that I've got my notes in here in this instance notes column, I can use this drop down menu and move to either a new label row or a new label column or a pre-existing label column. I'm going to go new label column and I'm going to call this column here Oliver's notes. So now that I've moved my notes into this label column, this instance notes column now is freed up for a secondary coach's notes. So I'm just going to write here second note and then here I'm just going to put another note. Now that my second coach has added his notes, I can now again go drop down menu, move to a new label group. And this can be the second coach's notes. So I can do this as many times as I want. And I can have as many coaches or analysts contribute to the same sorter as I'd like. The secondary implementation of this new feature would be to essentially use this instance note column as like a label button. So if I put commas after words, that's going to differentiate the words beforehand as labels. So what does that mean? Well, here I've got a basketball game, so let's pretend we're, we're adding notes for around the shots that are being done in this game. So here, for example, I could put the initials of the player, put comma, I could say where on the floor it happened, left corner, comma, and then I could put the result, plus two. Because I've added commas to all of those different notes after each phrase, these are all now going to be labels when I turn them into a label group. So now let's go down a couple more. Let's add another label here. Let's go JT, right corner, and let's go uh, minus three. Let's add one more. Let's add initials. Let's add an area, and then let's go for the result. Now that I've added my notes, if I now turn these into a label group, you'll see here now that each one of these separate phrases is its own label. So now I can look for these in the find window. I can script for them. And I can also look at these in the matrix if I was going to sync it back to my original timeline. So those are two implementations of this new feature of instance notes into a label column. Either you can have multiple coaches contribute to the same sorter, or you can use the instance notes column as essentially a label button.